Hello Gemini and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all are doing absolutely wonderful. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed, right? They can always be flipped. So in saying that Gemini, take only what resonates, what you know is true to your story, what makes sense. Or what I'm already confirming that you already know. And whatever doesn't resonate or you definitely know is not part of your story at all, just throw it out. You definitely don't need it. Just only take what you need. Um, so Gemini, let's get straight into your weekly love reading. I want to see what's happening around your heart space, what you should look out for. Um, yeah, basically, I really just want to, I don't know, I kind of really want to just um, see the energies that are coming your way. You know, who's coming towards you, what you should look out for. Let's see. For my lovely Geminis, let's see what's happening um, for you, especially with the um, the remainder. I mean, it's already the 25th. So let's see, even just the remainder of January, a bit of February, what's going on. And if this reading does resonate with you, Gemini, there will be an extended. Um, the link to the extended is in the description box below. It's the first link underneath all the stars. And um, yeah, so it's pretty full on, the extended. So Gemini, um, especially for those that are new to my channel, the purpose of the extended is that I will focus 100% on your person and only on your person. Um, I'm going to de dig a lot more deeper into their true thoughts, feelings about you and this connection. Um, also their intentions, desires, agenda, actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward. So in saying that, Gemini, if you stick around to the end of this video, you will see a glimpse of your extended. I use around five different decks. It's pretty full on. Um, but we're going to read the extended, everything from your person's point of view, especially how they see you and what is it that they want to do. So let's get straight into it, Gemini. Let's see. Oh, all right. We have one card that wants to be acknowledged. We'll put that over there. That's usually just a message on its own for Gemini, please. What's coming towards Gemini for the rest of January 2022 and February. Let's see. I'll be using a nine card spread. So it's going to be pretty a very full spread. And I will be clarifying these cards as well. So the card that jumped out was the Queen of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. So some of you very well could be dealing with a Pisces, um, also possibly a Cancer and a Scorpio here. I'm really kind of getting at the moment that this is more your energy, um, Gemini, where you're really focusing on self-care, being more compassionate towards yourself, self-love, being more patient with yourself, forgiving yourself as well. Although, Gemini, I have to say you've done nothing wrong. I can really pick that up. Um, but sometimes when things don't go according to plan or when things just come well crumbling down, we tend to blame ourselves. Um, so having a bit more empathy for yourself, a bit more patience here. Um, I love this. It's all about self-love, filling up your own cup. But in saying that, Gemini, there is someone around you as well uh, that has very deep feelings for you. And I'm definitely, I don't know why I'd never do this, but I automatically I'm looking at the deep ocean um, behind the Queen of Cups, as you can see. That doesn't blur. There we are. You know, when people say, my love for you is as deep as the ocean, and I just saw that, and that, yeah, I have to admit, there, there is a lot of love towards you. I'm also hearing loving, romantic thoughts towards you. All right, let's see. So we've got the Four of Swords. All right, sorry about that, Gemini. The video just cut off, um, but let's just keep going. So yes, we've got the um, Four of Swords here as the overall energy here. It's kind of like what's simmering, what's brewing here, what's kind of bubbling away. Um, so we've got very strong Libra energy here with that Four of Swords. So I'm very inclined to say at the moment that if there was anyone that you are thinking about the most right now, Gemini, you're probably not talking to this person. And if you are, the communication's pretty, I would say, inconsistent week. It's probably like one or two words here and there for a whole month, and then you never hear from them again until next month, though. Um, this is also about rest. It's all about recovery, finding peace as well. It's about self-protection here, um, renewal as well. Sometimes this can show when you're a little bit mentally burnt out. Now, this can happen when it's all work and no play, no distraction for you, Gemini. Um, as you know, Gemini's, we all tend to be, you know, the overthinkers as well. So telling a Gemini to stop overthinking is pretty much impossible as well. We are ruled by our thoughts. Um, 
you know, by Mercury communication, all that. But, um, you yeah, know, in saying that, though, I, I feel here that there is a bit of a rest period for you for a reason, Gemini, because you will need to, your mental strength. Something will be calling you for that you will need your mental strength to probably to make a very sound decision or to face um, someone particularly. I do feel that there's someone here. It's almost like it's kind of around you. There is a lot of love towards you, but I do feel here that um, your mental strength and clarity, it, you will need it, Gemini. Let's see. Ah, why? Because we have the um, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy right there. Someone is about to make you an offer here. Yeah, um, this is known as the messenger here. It is someone that, even if they were not loyal or faithful in the past, they will be offering you something quite solid here as well. Um, someone that's a bit more grounded as well can be very ambitious. They are offering you something. Um, definitely, you now we know that pages are all about communication here. Um, so I would not be surprised pretty soon if someone actually does say to you, hey, why don't we, why don't we meet for a coffee? I would not be surprised, Gemini, if this does happen within uh, four weeks. Now, the swords do represent weeks. So I would not be surprised if someone actually offers, hey, why don't we go out? For example, let's meet for a coffee. Page of Pentacles is all about face-to-face -face communication. That's why I say that. You also have here the uh, Four of Wands and we have the Devil. So we have very strong Aries and Capricorn energy right there. So some of you actually may have been thinking here of possibly marrying this person, being engaged. Perhaps some of you were married or maybe the person that you are thinking about is probably, I would say, and I'm seeing the devil here, possibly in a toxic connection with someone else. Um, this is my marriage card here. So there is a possibility that there is possibly, you know, someone that you're dealing with. They could be married here to someone else, possibly a karmic as well. Um, this is the card of extremes as well. The devil is the card of extremes, um, and it's it can also be about obsession here um, as well. But we do have something. I feel like they will be giving you some pretty good news. This is about you know homecoming celebration, marriage, family, happy reunions as well. You know, just coming together though. Um, in saying that though, your person here, very strong Capricorn energy, could be a, quite obsessed here, as in getting this message across, whatever it is I want to offer you. Um, yeah, they could also be dealing here with um, a karmic or possibly there's some obsessive negative thinking here. Um, you know, some of that nervous anxiety um, feelings about giving you this certain offer. Will Gemini accept? So let me put all the cards down first. What's happening? Right. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. What else? We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone's coming towards you. They will be initiating this change, this offer here. The Two of Swords, I do see you being just a little bit one foot in, one foot out. Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. So what's the beating heart of your reading, Gemini? We have the Ten of Swords. That is your energy right there. That's Gemini energy. What else? We have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so you're feeling a little bit apprehensive with this person. I don't blame you. So we have the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. I'll just put these up here. I don't want anything to be cut off. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and we end with the Five of Cups, Scorpio Energy. So to say that this person broke your heart is a bit of an understatement. Yeah, um, I'm looking at that Eight of Pentacles, um, Virgo energy. Uh, you probably put a lot of work into this um, you and you were prepared in the long run to put a lot of work into this connection, though. The thing is here, I have a feeling your person, not only did they break your heart, but you almost feel cheated by the person, by the connection, by the whole situation. It's like it just it came crumbling down here. Now we start off. I'm going to pick up these two cards because I do feel like kind of married together. Wheel of Fortune. And we also have the Knight of Wands, strong Sagittarius. You could also be dealing here with um, a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and a uh, Scorpio. Could be somewhere in their chart. Um, but this is about changes moving forward. So your person, most definitely, they want change here. There is also a sense of destiny. Now, there is a, probably a reason why your person actually may want to start all over again with you though um but i'm kind of already getting that there is a little bit of unfinished business um according to your person they feel that though um and you know it's kind of sometimes when destiny is orchestrating this change now whether a reconciliation is there to pick up the pieces and move on together it could also be for closure and just for peace really um but i do see someone here really charging towards you um this person could also be overseas as well that's not for all of you though but we've got someone here that 
may actually just initiate these changes, this offering quite impulsively. Um, so I kind of see it's going to come out of left field. Um, you know, if anything, I see that you're kind of picking up the pieces and you're really focusing on self-care, your mental, your emotional well-being. And then boom, one day this person comes saying, hey, I'm, you know, all is not over. I don't want this to be over, though. So nights are about messages and they're all about changes. In this circumstance, there is some passionate changes coming your way with a solid offer um, as well with that page of pentacles. But as you can see, you're in two minds about it with that two of swords. Yeah. So it's like you've got one foot in, one foot out. I don't really see Gemini, you're going to make a decision or even answer this person straight away. Um, only because I do feel that you're deeply hurt here. Absolutely. After everything you did, all the hard work you did, you got the raw end of the deal. It's almost like they got away with it. And now they're coming back. It's like, okay, why, why did that happen? Why are you coming back now? Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a, I mean, a, you know, fork in the road. You don't really know which way to go as well, though. Without Six of Pentacles, though, I'm inclined to say for some of you um, that perhaps your person was giving too much attention to someone else or something and not you. The thing is, they are coming back with good intentions, though, because this is about now really giving you equal give and take now, balancing the scales here as well. Um, your person actually behind the scenes could be working very hard to pay off any loans and debts. Um, honestly, it's like they want to come back with support, a solid offer, passion, emotions here as well. Definitely there could be marriage involved. Maybe a person is financially responsible for maybe um, child support, spousal support, or if their parents are older, for example. Um, so there's a lot they kind of want to balance, but yeah, I feel like you'll, you'll be thinking a lot about this, possibly even overthinking this. Um, but then we have the Ten of Swords, so that's your energy, Gemini energy right there. Okay, so this ending, it was very painful. It is about loss. It is kind of metaphorically, we're feeling emotionally and mentally stabbed in the back by this connection, by the situation, how it unfolded, how it ended, and also by this person as well. It's almost like, you know, okay, you were left to bleed out and your person just disappeared. Um, so you kind of know what it's like to be in that Ten of Swords energy, Gemini. You've been there, it sucks, it hurts, and you've, you know, you've crawled your way out to become that Queen of Cups there. So I don't blame you for taking your time, though. We do have the Nine of Wands. Again, I'm picking up your energy there um, on how you're feeling about this connection there on that, um, that particular house right there. It is the Wounded Warrior, though. The Wounded Warrior does not give up. But at the same time, you do have your walls all the way up, though, because you don't want to have those Ten Swords in your back again. Um, you've learned your lesson. So, yes, you're a little bit apprehensive. You know, sometimes you do feel a bit deflated, a little bit defeated here. You've got very strong boundaries now. It's like you're very careful who you let in. You've had to learn the hard way, Gemini, um, with this person and other people as well, even at work, current circumstances here as well. Um, I'm getting a lot of you are probably mentally and physically just tired as well, and it's only the start of the year. But So what is their intention is that they want a reunion with you. We have the Three of Cups, Cancerian Energy. It's a very social card, so definitely they want face-to-face -face communication with you. If you are at a distance, the best thing is FaceTime. Um, but I do see them asking you where possibly let's go to a restaurant somewhere where maybe is always, you know, hanged out, for example. You may have the same group of friends as well. Um, they may even just propose, why don't we just start off as friends as well? Um, like I said, it, and it's also inviting you to very sociable places like birthdays, engagements, weddings here, um, any, anywhere where there's kind of a celebration as well. Social events as well. Yeah, yeah. We also have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups. I'm putting these together because there is a lot of regret of what your person did. Right. So if you know that there was a third party, Gemini, perhaps your person was married to um, someone else um, or they are married to someone else. Either way, you know, we have that Queen of Pentacles. When we have that Queen of Pentacles there, um, Gemini, usually this person is already in a committed relationship or they're married. So I am picking up that, yes, there could be a third party as well. Some interference could be family, friends, co-workers, but I'm really picking up there was a third party as in they were probably committed to them as well. Now we do have the Five of Cups. There is a lot of regret over what happened. 
I know you're hurting, um, Gemini, every time you think about it, it feels like it happened yesterday, but your person here is very ashamed. They're feeling very embarrassed here. There is a lot of regret. Um, there's disappointment. There's grief here. Um, I do know here, it's very clear, you know, we've got the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups showing is when we kind of feel abandoned. We're not feeling loved anymore by this person. Um, and we're kind of mourning as well. But I, 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 your person here is really regretting their actions, though. But is that enough? That's the thing. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards. Um, for those that also do like this particular deck with the gold trimmings and the gold accents, I'll put a link down below in the description box as well. I do not get any commission at all. Um, honestly, sharing is caring. So if you do like these decks just for yourself, I'll put the link down um, below for you. I do believe they are in Australia and I'm 100% certain they do ship worldwide as well. So I split the deck, we're splitting the energies, and we've got judgment here. Poor judgment on your person's behalf. We have very strong Scorpio energy, possibly Libra as well. Um, this is your person basically asking for a second chance. And that's why I'm, you know, I feel this is why you're not jumping in. It's almost like, is it too late? Is the damage too much here? That's the thing. And, you know, I, people have been asking me, why, why do people come back? Well, simple, because there is unfinished business. Um, and for some of you, yes. On the rare occasion, you have to, yes, reconcile and pick up the pieces and move on together. But uh, we've got the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah, trust is a major issue here. They're probably going to have to fight tooth and nail Gemini to be in your good books. So, in saying that, let's clarify. These are pretty good messages, but we've got some dominant cards that are coming there. Um... I do want to dig a lot more deeper. So these messages for me are too plain. <laughs> I just like to dig a lot more deeper in. So, oh, all right. Let's see. So before I look at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, let's see these cards that wanted to come out. It's so weird, this combination, Gemini. Now, as you can see, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. And look what happened. Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Wow, how does that happen? This is really solidifying that there is regret here from your person concerning this third party. And we also have the Queen of Wands. They're going to take action towards you. And I'm already picking up that they choose you. But is it too late? That's, that's another question here. What the Knight of Swords? This is absolutely the fastest knight here. In the, out of all the knights, it's the fastest knight. They're definitely going to be rushing to you to communicate. The sword is pointing up, so there's open communication coming your way. Six of Pentacles came out twice. It's really solidifying these messages. As I always say, I like seeing repeat cards, repeat messages. It really solidifies what is actually coming towards you. Because so far, all the knights, <laughs> they're pointing towards you. They want to provide equal give and take. Look at that. We've got the death card. Um, Scorpio energy. This is about transition here. It's about rebirth here. It's also about making a sacrifice. Your person may be willing to make a sacrifice here, a big one here, to be honest, um, just to be with you. And we've also got the chariot, cancer energy. So... They're determined. It's about determination. It's about victory. And that, um, Gemini, is the fastest card in the entire deck. So you got the fastest knight. you got the fastest major. Everything is kind of charging towards you. So let's clarify that Wheel of Fortune. There you are, the Queen of Swords. So yeah, I think for some of you, I'm going to say the majority of you are willing to hear this person out, at least. Um, there is definitely the, the topic of separation and divorce here. Gemini, you actually may be divorced as well. Um, and I do feel already that this person is quite intimidated by you. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. You know, there is a lot of respect here towards you, though. I'm getting a lot of you are quite angry towards this person, but I still don't blame you. I, I would be very upset here as well, though. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. So I, I, it's almost like I think we got all the Knights. We got the, you know, the Knight of Pentacles. We had the, where is it? I couldn't have sworn we had. The Knight of Swords, yeah. So um, the Knight of Wands as well, it's right there. <laughs> so there is a solid offer coming your way, Gemini. This person, I feel like this is long overdue. That is the slowest knight. What I like though, that is my favorite knight because when this knight arrives, 
um, in your life. Back in your life, Gemini, they arrive correctly. They have really thought about what to say to you. They've even practiced what to say to you. Um, they've thought about the next move, what they're going to offer you. So their actions towards you could be quite spontaneous, but they have really thought about it for a very long time, what to say to you. In saying that, though, let's clarify that Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, and they lived happily ever after. This is about happy um, reunions, um, reconciliation, contentment here, um, honestly filling up each other's own cup with love, deep emotions, maybe children involved, there could be a beautiful blended family, this can portend also to engagements and marriages. Yeah, look at that, we've got the devil twice, we've got it there and now we've got it here, Capricorn energy, there is a slight obsession here over you. I have to say it. Um, when I get, when I see the devil twice, that is a lot of obsession, <laughs> a lot of lust, a lot of temptation here towards you. Your person actually may be over drinking, um, just to kind of cope with their circumstances right now. Especially how everything came crashing down, though. Um, if they're not over drinking, they're doing something too much in excess. Um, that's not really healthy for them, though. But I'm really getting here that your person is also dealing with a karmic something or someone very toxic in their life which they're gonna to have to sacrifice with that death card and get away far as far away from it as possible though there is a lot of obsession here towards you i may actually put that word somehow in your um title description clarifying that two of swords we have the nine of cups pisces energy when i see these two cards almost you know together um, opposite the devil and the nine of cups can show me your person could be emotionally attached to you so what does that mean really gemini it's like they find something in you you provide something that they cannot find with anyone else which is probably emotional happiness or you make them feel good but this is a wish um being fulfilled you are the wish fulfillment i feel like you know once upon a time gemini they were your wish fulfillment as well um, but you've got a good head on your shoulders it's like you can see this and it's like okay let's look at the facts first um, they did this, this, and this to me. Do they really, really love me? I can tell you right now, they are coming back to clear the air, though. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. So, yeah, Gemini, what's happening right now is that I do see that the majority of you are 100% single. Um, you're being very resourceful. And if there are no resources, you know, you find the resources. <laughs> Focusing on your career, your studies, your finances, how to better your life. It, that is the card of luxury. It's also the minor account of the Empress. So, Gemini, you are on the right path here. Just saying, that's a very that's a beautiful card right there. A lot of prosperity. Some of you may be thinking of being self-employed or are already self-employed here as well. But that's beautiful. Beautiful thumbs up there for you. Um, so you may actually not want to be kind of taken away from everything you worked so hard for. Clarifying that Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, the, I do feel that your person was the one that walked away. They may have rejected you here. Um... And it's just amazing how they walk away. Some time goes by, especially last year, and then they come back, though. Um, and it forced you to pick up the pieces, move on with your life. And, you know, as we got the ten swords in your back, it's almost like you had to tend to your wounds. And that, that was difficult. It still is. I think that's probably why you're exhausted. And I don't blame you. What else? The King of Cups. Scorpio energy could possibly also be a Cancer and... Um, uh, Pisces. I did notice here now that, and it doesn't matter if it's different cards, by the way, or different um, authors, as you can see, we do have the power couple of the emotions. We have the Queen and the King of Cups. So what does that mean? There is a lot of love here. There is a lot of emotions here as well. They have definitely leveled up. Male or female, doesn't matter. If you're dealing with a female or a male, it's the same meaning. Your person really had a lot of trouble expressing exactly, truly, 100% what was going on in their heart. Even if they said they love you, for example, um, there was something more deeper than that. And now they're going to express it to you. Yep. Again, I'm picking up, there's a lot they shouldn't have said to you, and they didn't, though. I got that justice there. I was just looking at that Libra energy. There definitely could be a divorce or some legalities. That's also my apology card, where your person wants to balance the scales and right all the wrongs that they have done with you. I do like that they want to do right by you. I, I, that I do like. So let's clarify that Ten of Swords. High Priestess, Pisces Energy. So what's going to happen here? One, your intuition is telling you, you kind of know the truth of the situation. Why your person allowed this beautiful connection to kind of come crumbling down though. 
it is my quiet card in when I say that you don't really have to do much Gemini you'll be getting your answers you'll be getting more knowledge more information more secrets here they will be revealing this to you um you're definitely connecting on a soul level here as well though um yeah look at that the nine of swords you could be dealing with a fellow gemini as well we do have justice there that is kind of haunting the person at night so if your person is going through any legalities yeah i have to admit they're not going through a very good time you know we do have the devil cards which is kind of lower vibrational energies here as well your person i have to admit is very regretful here with a, a, a capital R of what they did to you. They know they hurt you. And they know it was a it, it was a very it was a bad thing to do and they know that. But they're very regretful and actually just communicating with you. There's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of fear of well what's Gemini going to say to me now? Cuz you're very into, you're coming across Gemini as extremely independent. All right, clarifying that nine of wands, we have the sun, Leo energy. Okay, so they, their intention is to bring back happiness to you. This is also, Gemini, the return of health. So if your health has been kind of doing this, if it's been wavering, it's not been the best here, um, that is actually, we have that page of wands, by the way, we've got a huge offer coming your way, you've got options. Um, the sun is all about blessings. If there are any challenging cards, it does soften the effect. But you've got pure happiness and blessings coming your way. So this is weird, look at this. Wow, all right, I've got to show you this. So nine of wands the sun and the nine of wands again i have a feeling a lot of you will be thinking this is too good to be true again you're still very apprehensive you're keeping your cards close to your chest gemini you know is this too good to be true what if they're coming back with a secret agenda i'm also getting that your person is a little bit kind of when i say defensive it's not towards you it's like i feel like they don't want to get their head bitten off by you <laughs> um but yeah i just double confirming here that it's almost like you're thinking what's the catch you know why are you offering me all these beautiful things now and you didn't offer it to me before though so yeah i understand where you're coming from let's clarify that gorgeous three of cups two of pentacles again capricorn energy so yeah you're mm -mm, what do i do what do i do you're definitely no hurry <laughs> um gemini i feel like you will be considering it you may entertain this conversation um but yeah i kind of feel like you're way you're very busy here there's a lot of responsibilities, especially at work as well. Um, we are trying your best to be resourceful here, but I kind of feel it's like, do I have any more room to deal with this person now? So you're weighing up the options here, but yeah, I feel like you're, you will be on the verge of making a choice. How does this happen? So remember we've got the two, um, the nine of wands here. Look at this. So you get the three of cups, the two of pentacles and the three of cups again. See how on the same pile here, it's just double confirming that what are they going to be expressing to you? That they want this reunion. They want you to come back together and celebrate. Wow. I see I even like surprising myself when this happens. But yeah, everything, all the energy is all pointing to you, Gemini. So let's clarify that queen of pentacles. Got the queen of cups twice. Yeah. I have to say something, your person made the absolute wrong choice here. Yeah, there was a choice with this person, which is probably a karmic, and you. A spur of the moment, possibly quite impulsive here. They chose the karmic or they chose someone else or something else, um, but now it's you. Oh my God. Yeah, see, there you are, Gemini, the lovers, they choose you. They choose you. I have to admit, they may have got an influence, maybe the karmic threatened them, whatever happened, um, it was instant regret, instant regret over you. This is where the love is mutual. The love is mutual and it's about choices and they choose you. Let's clarify that five of cups, eight of wands, Sagittarius energy and the tower, Scorpio energy. So just so you know, as a heads up, every time I get a message card with the tower, it's going to come as a shock to you. Yeah. I do feel a lot of you were blindsided. If this person actually just disconnected from you just like that, yeah, you're blindsided. Even if you anticipate it, you kind of sense that something's off. Yeah, no, you still didn't see it. And that's why your person needs to talk to you about this. This is all about communication. Again, confirming Gemini that this person may be at a distance from you. If not, they're feeling that emotional distance. But look at this. So let's talk. They want to talk about what they did. They're feeling regretful especially about what they did to you. In saying that though, the communication here, this sudden message here is going to, it's, it's I have to admit, even I'm stumb mumbling over my words here. I think you're gonna be a little bit shocked, probably a lot shocked to be honest, because it's this is not always a bad card, the tower. It can be 
you know, my shocking card, my shocking surprise can be a breakthrough or a breakup, for example. So we've got something that's going to shock you here. Unexpected message. And there's obsession here. Like, I don't use that word lightly. In fact, I don't think I ever use it. If I do, it's very rare, Gemini. But um, there, it, I'm seeing a shocking message um, about saying, you know, can we open the doors again? Can we explore it in possibly being together again? There is a lot of obsession here. They could be obsessively thinking about what to say to you, what to offer you. Um, it's almost like giving you that beautiful offer so you can't say no. All right, so Gemini, what I'm going to do, because I'm very interested to see what is going to happen when this happens. So I'm do picking this, this can happen around within four weeks. So just bear with me. I wanna see what's gonna happen beyond in the extended now. Um, we're gonna focus especially on the true intentions. So I'm going to pause the video, um, especially for those that are new to my channel, you'll see a glimpse of um, the extended reading. So just one second. Hi Gemini, welcome back. So as you can see, um, we have five different decks and just to reiterate, especially for those that are new to my channel, I will be focusing 100% on your person and only on your person and how they see and how they really feel about you and this connection, Gemini, um, their true thoughts and feelings, yes, <laughs> um, their intentions, desires, agenda, anything that you should know about, anything that they're hiding will all be revealed for you, Gemini. Um, definitely their um, actions, what's the outcome, and of course, advice for both of you is moving forward. So to start off, Gemini, I will be using the Everyday Witch Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Mystical Cats Tarot. Moving on, I'll be using the Answers or the Yes and No Oracle cards. Sometimes we do get timing here as well. And then I'll be moving on to the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Beautiful messages and advice moving forward, um, especially for you, Gemini. And my favorite deck is the Twin Flame Messages. So just have a better understanding of your person's true thoughts about you. What would they say to you? If they were not afraid of rejection or judgment, what would they say to you? What is in their beating heart right now? And they're just dying to tell you. We've got some direct messages here straight for you, Gemini. So um, as I said before, the link to the extended is um, in the description box below, the first link underneath all the stars. I'll see you on the other side, Gemini, but if this is where we depart, I wish you the very best. Um, and if you do resonate with this, I hope healing um, and love is always yours, Gemini. All right, have a fantastic day. Until next time, take care. Bye.